Alright, what's up everybody? Afflicted Gamer here and welcome back to X Defiant. So the first season has officially launched and I thought we'd go ahead and uh, take a look at the battle pass together. First and foremost, I do want to thank Ubisoft very much for this gift as I've partnered up with them to produce this content for all of you out there. So if you're on the fence with whether you should or shouldn't pick up the battle pass, hopefully this will help you make up your mind. And like I said, this will be my first time actually seeing this myself. Now, I should have mine actually unlocked, but I guess they have not gotten around to that just yet. Alright, let's view all of the rewards. Okay, so you get a few rewards for free right off the get-go, which is... A nice looking skin right here. Preview reward. Called Wild Card. I really hope that it's a step up from the preseason one. There was only a couple of things on there that I really liked. And then we've got a skin for the Magnum. Again, called Wild Card. Uh, not a weapon I use, but a skin that I definitely like. After that, we have... What is this here? A common player card. Battle Pass, XP Booster, always useful. Emojis, nothing too special. Probably going to skip all of those, okay? Then we've got a regular common skin for the M4A1. The one from the preseason was much nicer. Weapon XP Booster. And then we have Bright Side for the cleaners. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. I just wanted to preview it. That's not too bad. X coins, which is always nice. And we've got confidence game. A little player animation there. Pretty cool. Tier 6, we have the Morganite skin for the Mark 20 SSR. Battle Pass XP Booster. We've got an Amber skin for the MP5. Uh, simple, but clean. Not too bad. Common. I noticed there's a lot of common. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that is wild looking. Okay. Uh, this is something I definitely, definitely want to get. Art Deco for the P90. More emojis. Weapon XP Booster. We've got the Dungaree skin here. Uh, actually, I like it. You know what? It, it's not too bright. Doesn't stand out too much. Simple, but good. Then we've got the sticker shock. You know, those things for the, the kill cams or sorry, the end screens or whatever. I still think the cleaner one is the best. And we've got a common skin here for the M44. Not much to inspect. X coins. Then we've got the Avalanche skin here for the M870, which looks pretty cool. Okay. So, yeah, basic camo. Not bad. XP booster. Now we've got carbon fiber here at tier 18. What do you guys think of the different color schematics for some of these factions? Like, I just can't picture... Phantoms or Echelon without Gray, unless this is actually part of Rainbow Six. So there's Thunderbolt, which is part of the new faction. Ooh, the little lightning effects are pretty nice, though, that's for sure. Okay. Lavoa C is the weapon. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong button there. My apologies. Is it full auto? Yes, it's an assault rifle, just like in the Division 1. That's perfect. XP booster. Big flex. We've got burnt umber skin right here. Uh, it's actually not too bad of a color. I don't mind that at all. Then we have 100x coins, followed up by a distribution skin. What's that for the AK? Yes, it is. 
punch skin for the urban mdr i you know what i really wish i could have made it to the end of the past preseason one because that mdr skin is my favorite by far uh raven's keep little player card there another skin for the p90 again this one's actually pretty nice it's very clean looking good catch player animation X coins, and then we have a skin for the AA12. You get a pretty clear picture of what it looks like right there. More X coins, and then skeletonized dragon for the SVD. Why the cool skills for or skins for like marksman rifles and whatnot? I just don't use them, but that's beautiful. I love that. Another weapon XP booster. Uh, casual combat skin right here. See, I like this. Simple, clean, tactical. Not crazy funky colors. Uh, Battle Pass XP Booster, always welcome that. The Morganite skin for the M60. Spectra skin, which is epic for... Uh, is, is it Ella? I don't know. You know what? I like it actually. That's pretty cool. I'm going to assume that the bone parts glow in the dark. That's really cool. Okay, X-Ray for your player card. I do like it. Another weapon XP booster. Another common skin for the RPK. Then we've got high velocity. This was one of the weapon uh, palettes from the preseason. Not bad. Uh, Phantom Emoji Pack, X Coins, a plain skin for the SVD Ember, Battle Pass XP Booster. Then we've got the Carbon Fiber skin for Gorgon. That's alright. Uh, Power Nap. Then we have, okay, the L115s. <laughs> Other Sniper. Um, free reward. So there we go. So there's another weapon. That's cool that we have two. Weapon XP booster emojis. Midnight velocity for the Mark 16. Uh, it's okay. Um, I love the clean white and black. Just prefer a different color. Uh, other than that, like baby bluish. Now we've got a common skin for the M9. Coins before that. Combat casual. Pretty cool. Battle Pass XP booster. Then we have Eruption. Now this looks pretty darn cool. For the and it's for the Lavoa C. All right. I'm digging that for sure. I wonder if it's just we can unlock it off the pass because that'd be great. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is cool. For the ACR as well. Uh, power washer. <laughs> Makes it look like a water gun. This kind of stuff I don't mind. Just not on the outfits. Well, actually the outfits we don't really get to see. So I kind of don't care. Blowing up X coins, then we've got the Mo uh, Morganite skin for your attack 50. Then we've got the Tactical skin for uh, Krieger. Hopefully, I'm not butchering the name. Again, simple, clean, nice. Weapon XP booster emojis, uh, the TNT player calling card, battle pass XP booster, Spectra. So it looks like the same kind of. Yeah, the black blue. I, I actually dig this. I like this. <clears throat> Sorry. It's, uh, nah, the weather's pretty crappy here. Bonehead. And then we've got bright side. X coins. Bright side again, but it's for Gia. Cute little outfit. Um, just don't like the colors. Sorry. 
to each their own. Uh, weapon XP booster, always welcome that. We've got the violet skin for the M16, A4, X coins, quick draw, legendary player animation, so emotes, battle pass XP booster, combat casual. Not bad. There's a lot of common stuff I noticed. I wish there was some legendaries in that in the beginning or something, you know? Uh, sawed off. Free reward. Uh, weapon XP booster. Disruption for the L115. We've got wild card again here for Captain. It's the Captain skin here. Who is that? That's, uh... I want to say Blaze for some reason. I don't know. Somebody can let me know in the comment section. X-Coins. Then we've got the Wild Card. Like, I like that there on the Assault Rifle. On the M4A1. But I've got my favorite skin on that. So why can't that be for the Lavoa C? Still nice and clean looking. After that, we have another weapon, XP booster, then the uh, Pelagic. I hope I'm not butchering that. For the sawed off X coins, and then that is very cool. Spectro? Oh my gosh. For the TAC 50. For those of you that main this, you're probably going to love that. I wish that was on the Lavoa. And then we have a Spectre skin for one of the cleaners here at tier 90. And it's, yeah, the black with the, the bones. Okay, this is definitely a step up from the first, from the preseason pass. But way too many common items. You know, and put some more of these really cool things. You know, in some of the earlier tiers, instead of just like, oh man, okay, I gotta get all the way to tier 89 for this. You know, you have duplicates of color palettes. Throw them on some of the different weapons. I would put this on an MP5. I'd put this on the M4. I'd put this on the Lobo with C, the Urban MDR. Um, you know, a bunch of weapons. You could leave it on this, of course. Just, I would like it on other weapons as well. Uh, much better battle pass. Uh, hopefully, mine will come in soon here. And I'm going to jump into season one. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments section. If you're playing X Defiant and you enjoy it, you're down with the new faction, you're, you know, you're excited for it, then I would say this is definitely a pickup and a thumbs up from me. So, but like I said, I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment down below. Kindly drop a like for more X Divine content. Consider subscribing for more. That, the Division 2, hopefully, which we'll pick up soon. Figure, which has been having some server issues. That should be fixed soon as well. So then I'll finally get to actually play a full match. And bring you guys some more stuff. So, But until next time, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you soon in the next video.